going to Sea Life London Aquarium. The Sea Life London Aquarium is located on the ground floor of County Hall on the south bank of the River Thames in central London, near the London Eye. And where are we going today, Ellie? Yeah, maybe the dungeon. I'll see you on the train, boys and girls. See you next time on the Early Early Club. It opened in March 1997 as the London Aquarium and hosts about 1 million visitors each year. And A. Lee is going to be one of the visitors of London Aquarium today. Where are we? Are we at the train station? Yes. That's number two train station. And boys and girls, when you go over there, don't go past a little line, okay? Because oh. if you do, a train and you get you'll be back on the train forever. So make sure you don't Travelling from the South Essex, she will have to change at Liverpool Street for the underground to Westminster. And where's the trend going again? Creatures who you love the most, magnificent sharks, colorful clownfish, or perhaps inquisitive sea turtles. Maybe you simply can't decide. At Sea Life they leave, you'll be able to see them all, from the curious and the rescue to the rare and the enigmatic she will be able to get closer to them all. Many of the creatures at Sea Life are on the endangered list. All have been rescued and cannot be released into the wild. All have been born and bred as part of the conservation projects. The journey is roughly about 1 hour and 30 minutes. Ellie is keeping herself busy playing with her toys.
selam terbas. Are we still on the train? Welcome to London. Where are we? We're in the underground now. Holding house. Liverpool Street underground. Coming. Yeah. 
Let's go, Eddie. Eddie, let's go. I need to film you, baby.
around the sphere only goo that you just passed. Um, so they actually develop in here up to 12 months and then they swim out from the holes at the top of the water. Okay, well done, do you wash your hands on the right hand side for me. That's actually a lot softer, this is plastic. Over 500 species of shark in our oceans. The sun tiger shark has a very unique and curious habit. They come up to the surface of the water to gulp air and hold it in their stomachs. Sharks are naturally negatively buoyant which means they sink if they stop swimming. Holding air in their tummy like a balloon enables sand tigers to float motionless in the water without sinking so they can silently drift up close to their prey and quickly snatch it in their jaws. They can grow to be over 3 meters long and are found in warm or temperate waters throughout the world's ocean, with the exception of the Eastern Pacific. Sea Life London has two tiger sharks there called Bungle and Zippy, and are both yours. Can you spot them?
there are more than 350 different species of jellyfish. The lion's main jellyfish is over 2 meters tall, it's taller than you, others are as tiny as a pinhead. They can be found in all of our oceans and sometimes in fresh water too. Jellyfish have venomous tentacles that they use to capture their prey. Most jellyfish are harmless to humans, but a few including the box jellyfish can cause a painful sting. Some species of baby fish are able to hide amongst jellyfish tentacles for protection. Penguins are playful, they love to slide down icy patches on their bellies and take turns to dive into the ocean. Did you know their black and white pattern is a form of camouflage? It helps them blend in with the water and keep safe from predators. Penguins are found almost exclusively in the southern hemisphere. They are flightless birds but they can soar through the water like a torpedo to catch fish. There are 17 species of penguins but they are running out of food. This is due to overfishing and global warming. Did you know, penguin poo is called guano.
Thank you for joining us on Ellie Ellie Club. If you have not yet done so, please subscribe for more Ellie Ellie Club.